Let's now shift focus to Tamil Nadu where the family of an agriculture department engineer Muthu Kumar Swami who allegedly committed suicide last month under political pressure have now fled from their home in Thirunan Valley. The family alleges that they were facing threats from the AIA DMK functionaries and government officials to sign some papers and withdraw their complaint. The Agriculture Minister SS Krishnamurti was sacked following these allegations that Muthu Kumar Swami was allegedly under pressure from superiors about some departmental appointments. Though the government ordered a CBCID inquiry, opposition parties are now demanding a CBI inquiry into the engineer's suicide. Opposition DMDK protested outside the state assembly today. So what is it you are demanding right now? So we are demanding for CBI inquiry because the real facts should be come to the public and the family should get the justice because these government authorities and uh, the political authorities have been making so much of mental torture to Mr. Muthukumar Sami and his life has been finished. Though I may be relative or not, doesn't care about it. But as individual, as Indian citizen, uh, these things will be continuing in Tamil Nadu means for the past three or four years. Uh, this type of things is going on because of the corruption issue. Uh, that's why our President Mr. Elangon asked for a CB inquiry at the time of the, from the beginning itself. Right. Sir, also there, there is also some pressure that uh, asking you to withdraw the complaint that you were already filed. No, no, you see there is, there is any complaint lodged by Muthukumar Sami wife. First of all, you know the fact. She is not the complainer. The government have made the case. Government is the complaint authority. Headlines today, Srisha Reddy now joins me with more on this. Uh, Srisha, the engineer's family, now they fear for their lives, they've left their home. Who is threatening them and why have the police failed to protect them? Well, Gaurav, uh, the family was so long, they were living in Kandalwari, remember, he had committed suicide on the 20th of February and it's been more than a month and even today, till now, the investigations have not even uh, come to a stage where something has been put in the public forum. The CBCID is, is inquiring into this uh, matter, though the family have been seeing that, you know, why there is no concrete evidence that have been arrived and they, the case should be transferred to the CBI. But no, no nothing, uh, no, no sort of evidence has come also, which really, uh, you know, the family and all the political parties are very apprehensive that how a CBCID, which is functioning under the state government, can go ahead with the fire investigation. So yes, and now the family has been, they have come to Chennai because they, they, uh, they are uh, under pressure from the political parties uh, uh, in the district, in Tirzal really, and uh, in the surrounding districts that, uh, you know, they should not go and approach the police, uh, uh, you know, even asking for a CBI inquiry. So yes. e even uh, another report that we're coming out that that uh, uh, his son has been asked to uh, apply for a job in the Tamil Nadu government, but however he refused to do so. So a lot of things that have been going on in this particular case, uh, while the opposition parties are, are living no stone and tone and have been demanding for a CBI inquiry into this particular uh, case. Okay. Gaurav?